Burnishing deforms and compacts the surface of your metal, smearing out small peaks and filling in small valleys to create a smoother, more reflective surface. If you've ever smoothed clay with your finger, you already understand how burnishing works. Metalsmiths use burnishing in a number of different ways because it allows you to get a bright, shiny finish without removing metal, unlike abrasive finishes such as sanding or buffing. Also, it allows any texture to be shined up without otherwise altering it. The simplest of these techniques is brass brushing your metal. A soapy brass brush is soft enough to get down into the recesses of your texture, but hard enough to drag, smear, microscopic amounts of your metal. Another burnishing technique uses a hard, highly polished steel finger to smear your metal. Make sure your metal is clean and that the surface of the tool is scratch free or your metal will get scratched up instead of polished. Lubricate the tool with soap or oil and just rub. Use firm pressure and support your work on a hard surface protected with a paper towel or piece of leather. Because the tool's surface is rigid, it won't get into every tiny recess, so the resulting texture can be very high contrast. One of my favorite burnishing techniques is tumbling. The tumbler uses a polygonal canister filled with polished steel shot to create the kind of repetitive sloshing action you see at the beach. Place the canister on its flat bottom and remove the three wing nuts. Put them in the magnetic dish so you can find them later. Remove the lid and check the shot. It should be clean and shiny and not leave black residue on your hands. The burnishing liquid in the canister should be clear and clean as well. If either are dirty, run a cleaning cycle on the shot. The instructions for this are posted by the sink. Make sure the burnishing liquid covers the shot and top it off if needed by tipping the jug horizontal and turning the valve. Make sure the valve is shut afterward and tip the jug back to vertical. Drop your pieces into the canister. Make sure the rubber gasket is in place. Otherwise the canister will leak and make a huge mess. And replace the metal lid. Screw on the three wing nuts. and tighten each little by little, working your way around a few times, rather than cranking them down one at a time. This compresses the rubber gasket evenly and avoids leaks. Turn the canister up onto its rims and place it on the rack, with the wing nuts pointing away from the machine. Turn it on and let it run. The longer you let it run, the shinier your metal will become. 60 minutes at a minimum, but overnight if possible. When it's finished, lift the canister off, set it on its flat bottom, and remove the wing nuts, placing them back in the magnetic tray. Remove the lid and gasket and take out your pieces. Rinse and dry your pieces. Replace the lid and wing nuts to keep the solution from evaporating and wipe off any water or burnishing liquid from the canisters and machine.
Magnetic finishers also use steel media to burnish your work, but with a canister that stays vertical and very fine steel pins that are driven by a magnetic bar that spins and drags the pins behind it. These are faster than rotary tumblers and easier to add or remove pieces since the canister stays vertical, but they're limited to small pieces like rings, pendants, or earrings. Make sure the pins and burnishing liquid are clean and filled to the water level line. Take off the lid and drop your pieces in. Replace the lid and set the canister on the steel platform. Switch on the power and set the length of time you want the machine to run and how frequently you want it to reverse directions which helps ensure that your pieces get completely burnished. Use the mode button to switch between them and the up and down buttons to change the settings. A third press of the mode button lets you set an alarm to let you know when the cycle is finished, but don't, it's loud and scary. Press the set button to save your settings. Press the start button and turn the speed control knob until everything is spinning quickly but not climbing past the maximum line. When the cycle is finished, remove the canister and take out your pieces. Rinse and dry your piece. Put the lid back on the canister and stow it next to the machine, not on top of it. Turn off the machine and enjoy, and enjoy the bling. The bling.